Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis here at Yoga TX. My name is Echo. Thank you for joining me here in my beautiful cabana. I am feeling very tender today. I'm feeling very emotional. <laughs> I think I, I tend to feel emotional just in general. I think that's part of the human experience. But uh, what I want to share today for this full body practice, and for some of you, my words feel um, helpful. And for some of you, you want to get straight to the physical practice. And what I want to share is that I don't put myself into a package for anyone's likes or dislikes. You know, I do what feels authentic and what I feel is moving me so that whoever finds it that's meant to find it, it can also move them because everything that we experience, although it's unique in our own essence, is not unique to humanity. When I feel grief, others feel grief. When I feel joy, others feel joy. When I feel tender, others feel tender. And so this practice is for those of you that find it in the right moment when it is the medicine for you. And I just want to give deep gratitude for the role and the masks and the ways in, in which I get to play in this human experience, that I get a space to share my voice and that my voice and the irony even of my name being Echo. You know, it's like my mother had this cosmic play with the universe to name me Echo because an Echo is not even its own. You know, an Echo is the, the essence of what came before it and it's what lingers after. And so we're all Echoes and I love the play of that. And I feel so grateful that what I get to echo is for you to feel more and for you to know yourself more deeply. And that's the journey that I've been on. I've been so emptied, so emptied of myself that what remains is the, the attributes, the shell that is collective. And of course I have ego, but the, the emptiness that comes um, when I feel that deep sense of emptiness all the attributes, everything that I experience, I feel it so connected to everyone else that I take life less personally and I do my best to be a tool um, and to let life move through me in a way that lets it move through others more freely. And so for you that are feeling and you that are choosing to feel and to listen and to tune in, uh, this is for you. Deep gratitude for what I get to what I get to play in this grand scheme, this grand tapestry of life. So that being said, let's start standing because I need to move some energy in my body, which means you need to move some energy in your body. So let's just find a little bounce, a little sigh, flicking of the hands, and just an appreciation of the challenge that being a human is can let the chest come forward and back. Whatever feels authentic, little shakes, little twerks, little tweaks. And let's find stillness, feet grounded, arms alongside the body, we arrive. Deep appreciation for the ground beneath us, the air around us, the breath that continues to come from this intangible force that we cannot see, but that we are so nourished by and challenged by. We're going to do a cleansing breath practice, the breath of joy. You can open the eyes. And I'll show you this breath practice first. We're going to do eight to 14 rounds. It's going to be three inhalations and one big exhalation. The inhales are going to look like this. And that's the exhale. So inhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms to the side. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, fold down. As we fold on the last round, I will say fold. And you'll just let the body hang. So we can really arrive with that life force energy moving through the body. So let's begin. Ah! 
fold down. Take the arms, fold in, ragdoll here, arrive, fully arrive. Deep breaths into the nostril, sigh out of the mouth if you like. Let the life move through you. Clear the mind, stay present, focus. Let's take an inhale, hands to the earth, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up and back. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms out to the side and up. And exhale to the heart. Hands alongside the body. Inhale, rise up. And exhale to the heart. Hands alongside the body. Inhale, rise up. And exhale to the heart. Pause here. Take a moment to reflect ground with the earth beneath you what is your intention where do you stand in the tapestry of life where do you connect how are you useful and not to be efficient not to be successful not to be productive but where are you useful what are you good at how can you give back how can you create more goodness in the world? Because what we give out, we receive back. And I'm sure we felt this many times. So if we are creators, why not create goodness? What goodness can you create? One collective breath in and out. Om. Open the eyes, hands alongside the body. Let's begin with Surya Namaskar A's. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Lower halfway, elbows in by the ribs. Inhale, forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float forward. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up and back. Exhale, to the heart. Hands alongside the body. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to plank, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale upward. And exhale downward. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to the heart. Hands alongside the body. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. 
pause here. Inhale, drop down to the knees, sit back onto the heels. Child's pose, forehead to the earth. Inhale, tabletop position. Let the belly drop, look forward, inhale. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, forward. And exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Tuck the toes. Standing on the knees. Hands come to the hips. Thumbs at the lower back. Take an inhale. Open the chest. Draw the shoulders back. Lift the heart space up and begin to look up. You can stay here or maybe bringing one hand down to the heel. Other hand down to the heel. Lifting the heart towards the ceiling and then letting the head drop back. Opening the heart. Take an inhale. And exhale, slowly coming up. Keep the toes tucked, sit back onto the heels, the lovely and most favorite pose <laughs> of Echo is the toe squat. Even the pinky toes tucked under, sitting up nice and tall, long through the spine. Let that heat nourish the body. Let it revitalize. Deep gratitude for the challenge and the joy. Soften the muscles in the face. Soften the shoulders. Notice if you're bracing in life. So just like in the posture, sometimes we brace and we're like, when will it be over? We can hold that posture off the mat as well. Notice if you are bracing in your posture, in your life. Relax the body, breathing in and out of the nostrils, choosing this as well. I choose this now, presence. And tuck the toes, come forward, pat the feet out. Sit back under the heels, over towards the left though, so we could stretch the legs forward. We're gonna come into a nice forward fold. So we wanna inhale, lift the chest, nice long spine. And exhale, slowly fold. Fold in. Relax the eyes, relax the mind, presence, observation. Lift the heart space, bend the knees, hands behind you, fingers tracking forward. Lift the hips up, let the head drop back. Hips up nice and high. And set the hips down. And cross the ankles. 
We sit up nice and tall, our last posture, a seated meditative seat. Shut the eyes down, soften the muscles in the forehead and the jaw, maybe parting the lips slightly, relaxing the chest and the belly. It's important that when we are inspired by all of the other echoes in the world, when we listen, when we tune in, when we gain knowledge, that we embody it and digest it, metabolize it, and make it our own. So who are you? What are you? In this grand scheme, this giant tapestry of collective connection that we are in, When you empty yourself of all of the stories, the ego, the pain, the, the clinging, the taking of things personally, what moves through you master, masterfully? We each have something. You may not have found it yet. You may know exactly what it is. But breathe into that. What instrument are you? What music is meant to be played through you? How can you walk the path still dedicated to the life that you are in, but how can you shift in a way that you play the music that your instrument is meant to play? Bring hands together at heart center, bowing head to heart. Grace and ease as you walk your path and you tune your instrument more finely to the greater weaving. That you learn to be a truth teller, a truth seeker, that you lead more from connection than righteousness, and that you find deep empathy and compassion for your brothers and sisters and not pity, not judgment. May you tune your instruments so finely that the words that you speak, the movements that you dance throughout life become an invitation for others to speak their truths, to dance their dance, to sing their songs, to be larger than life, but to create space for all of our bigness, all of our smallness. May we become so empty that we become useful to creating something better, something brighter, something more in harmony and resonance. Namaste. Mm. Thank you, dear beings, for being here. And tune in each week for more practices. Thank you, Yoga TX, for what you do. Feel free to reach out to me in all the places down below as our echo, O U R Echo, our echo, on Instagram, on SoundCloud, on YouTube. Um, yeah, practice with me here, one on one, in retreat, in person, or just with yourselves. <laughs> Many blessings on your journey. <laughs>